a lot of people think of their IT the same way they think of their janitor. You know, oh, we spelled something. Can somebody bring a mop out? Well, you know, that's not information technology is at the heart and soul of your entire organization. If you're still viewing your information technology the way you uh, view the person who cleans the floors or the hallways of your business, you got it all backwards. Travis, good to see you. What's going on, man? Welcome back. Good to see you too. And today's episode of Let's Make It Simple, Let's Make IT Simple, we're going to ask a question that uh, that I know I myself had um, when familiarizing myself when I was new to the to the IT world. I know a lot of a lot of other people have this question. A lot of businesses have this question. The question for you today, Travis, is what is an MSP? Good question. An MSP is a managed services provider. That's what it stands for. So essentially, it's an outsourced third-party information technology firm okay, that you hire to remotely manage your information technology. That's essentially what it is. Now, there's more to that, and I know we'll get, we'll get into it. But if you want to know what an MSP is, managed services provider. That's what that stands for. Gotcha. Okay. So... Uh, most people, when they think of MSPs, they're they're thinking of, um, like you mentioned, some kind of a third party company coming in. It's not somebody who's in house, right? Um, it's not you know the guy who who sits in the corner of the of of the of the office there, um, who pops up and you know helps every now and then with with some stuff on your desktop. It's a it's a third party, um, but is it the is it are all third party IT providers? MSPs. Great question. Again, uh, no, they're not. So an MSP is going to have a particular philosophy that guides them with regards to the way that they deliver their service. So a couple of those points are going to be, one, it, it's going to be remote. So they're going to use management and monitoring tools so that they can keep an eye on all of your systems, your computers, your servers, your network from anywhere in the world. Okay, so they're going to have that remote capability and tools that enable that. That's the first thing. Second thing is it's a much more proactive way of dealing with your environment. So instead of being the kind of company that you only call when there's a problem that's only available after something has gone terribly wrong, after you've stopped working, after you've stopped being profitable, okay, they're going to be the, the kind of company that's always working with you, looking at your environment, trying to proactively attack problems so that they don't get worse. Because an MSP is only profitable if things are going well in your organization. And so this was a really smart way for organizations to make sure that they're getting really good IT support at all times. And it's by incentivizing the company to only make money if things are going well. If things are not going well and you're having difficulty in your network and difficulty in your environment, then the old style information technology company now they're you know they're they're doing uh they're doing great because things break they, they charge you you know things break they come out and they start they start making money the msp doesn't want anything to break ever and that's traditionally the way that people would look at uh it providers right something messes up in the office we call the it guy something breaks they come out they fix it so an msp is like you said proactive right. um so that's great that's great to know now how would a business owner or someone who's looking to uh, to get some some uh, um, IT support, how would they know the difference between, uh, you know, a company that's an MSP and someone who's just your traditional IT uh, service provider? Sure. So traditional uh, IT service provider may not have a contract. They're, you know, going to have a phone number you call if, if there's an issue. They're going to bill you by the hour for that issue. Doesn't matter what it is. They're not necessarily going to be deploying tools in your environment. It's probably just more, hey, if you got a problem, give me a call. Come out and try to fix it, right? So that's what you're going to see with a, a traditional IT person. If you look at an MSP, they're going to have a monthly recurring charge. It's probably going to be based on person, how many people are in your organization, or how many devices you have, some sort of combination of that. Um, and it's going to have a tremendous amount of value that comes along with it in terms of uh, tools and documentation and things like that. So there's going to be monitoring agents. There's going to be antivirus, uh, you know, uh, software that they're going to install in your environment most likely. There's going to be, um, you know, network monitoring tools, documentation systems, 
uh, proactive uh, security scans, things like that. Because again, this company really wants to actually manage your IT, manage services provider, right? They don't want to just, they're not just the plumber you call out when you have a leak. Uh, they'll do that if something does go wrong, because things still go wrong and they'll fix those problems. Mm -hmm. But it's really their job to be a strategic partner with you and to start securing your environment, looking for those problems, getting ahead of those issues and helping you to craft and design your network and your information technology so that it enables your company to be profitable. That's what an MSP is trying to do. I'm, I'm thinking, I don't know why, maybe because football season just started, but I'm thinking a football analogy, you know, you got your neck brace and that's nice to have. You get an injury on the field, you want a neck brace, um, but you also got your helmet. Um, which is going to prevent some injuries. MSP has both of those things. They're, they're, they're stopping some of that that head-to-head -head contact. And then also, if things do happen to, to get to the point where you need that brace, then you have that as well. But IT service providers just throw on a brace on your neck. Well, they're only there for if you get hurt. Yeah, absolutely. Or even further than that, they're, we're designing the play. Right. So we're actually designing. Here's how we're going to what we're going to do. We're going to take the ball. We're going to run the ball. We're going to throw the ball. We're going to kick the ball. It's putting together your entire strategy all the way the beginning to end. That's what an MSP does or a good MSP does. Right. They're actually a partner, a strategic partner. And I've used that term before. It's very important. They're a strategic partner, someone you trust that is actually managing your information technology. You know, they're not a lot of people think of their IT the same way they think of their janitor. You know, oh, we spelled something. Can somebody bring a mop out? Well, you know, that's not information technology is at the heart and soul of your entire organization. If you're still viewing your information technology the way you uh, view the person who cleans the floors or the hallways of your business, you got it all backwards. The information technology is what's running your business now. It is. You don't have a business without it. <laughs> you, know, you can't make phone calls, can't send emails, your website's down. You don't have a company. You just don't. And so information technology is at the core and center of what you're doing and really deserves that kind of respect and attention from you. And, and you really need to find the right partner to help you manage all that. O otherwise, you're going to be behind the eight ball. Yeah. Now, you said you said two things. You said find the right partner just, mm -hmm. just here a moment ago. And you also said the right IT company right. or a good IT company. So when we're talking about MSPs, just because an MSP is uh, is is generally more proactive than your normal I, IT service provider, doesn't mean that all MSPs are 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 the same, right? Right. Now, how how would you how would you go about differentiating that? Yeah. So well, obviously, you know, when you're shopping for any vendor, uh, ask for references, call some people, see what their experience has been with this company, look for reviews online. That's always important. But the things to look at with regards to the service offering, find out how far they're willing to go with you. What are they offering? You know, are they giving, you know, are they using the name MSP, but then really still just kind of hanging around waiting for you to call them? Or are they setting regular meetings with you? Are they giving you uh, high-level resources in terms of uh, chief information officer style resources, somebody to help you with your planning, with your budgeting, you know, actually diagnosing the needs of your environment and then helping you find technical solutions to meet those needs? Like, are they partnering with you on a business level or are they still kind of acting like the old day, the pipe's broken. I'm just here to, you know, or I got a mop out. I'm going to clean up the mess. Or is that still how they're behaving? So you want somebody who's going to meet with you regularly. Uh, and they're not going to just sit down with you and talk about, well, here's how many tickets we closed. And here's, uh, you know, how many pro you know computers had problems. They're going to actually talk to you about what's your plan this year. How much do you have, you know, budgeted for IT? Is that going to be enough? What are the things that we see you needing in the next one, two, three, four, five years of your business? Uh, what are some concerns that we've noticed in the environment with regards to security? And how does your your personal, you know, your environment uh, match up to those concerns? Like, are you are you protected? You know, what are your customers? You know, what are the needs of your customers? Do you have any compliance requirements? All that stuff. You want somebody who's really going to get involved. Look at your company. And you want somebody who you would trust the same way you trust your attorney or your accountant right there, attorney, accountant, technologist. These are the people that should be helping you actually, you know, 
develop the core of your company because those are three of the most important things in your business. Podcast. It's called Let's Make It Simple. So let's make it simple. Let's break it down. 30 seconds or less. Travis, what is an MSP? All right. I'm going to actually try to do this in 30 seconds this time, I swear. I'm going to try. I'm going to time you, you right time. Well, Nick always puts that little <laughs> clock up, in the, and I always miss it. All right. Here we go, Nick. You ready? Throw up the clock. An MSP is a managed services provider. This is a company that is trying to proactively secure your environment and work as a strategic partner within your business. That's what they are. Outsourced, third-party, IT, proactive, managed service provider. Did Bam. I, did I do it? Yeah, did you got to drop your mic now. Uh, it's, you know, it's, <laughs> it's, it's, let me see. There we go. As good as I can do. Oh, man. <laughs>